If you know, you know. So, Keith One Time Thurman, aka Keith Runtime Thurman, got asked by Fight Hub, would you fight Terrence Crawford on the other side? He responded by saying he was offered that fight, and obviously, he ducked that fight. But I've never seen a guy that's better at ducking questions than ducking punches in the ring. Keith Thurman responded to that question by saying he got offered a fight, but just like he said before, he not ready to fight a top-level fighter this year. Uh, This was just a tune-up year, a get-back year, in fact, and he only fought Manny Pacquiao because he's not really a champion. He holds a title under his title. He's the super champion. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is the regular champion. So they're getting that cleared up on their side. However, when it comes to Crawford and Errol Spence, that's in 220. He will consider them fights. But then, obviously, when it comes to Errol Spence, every time you bring him up, he get mad. And he just stated during the press conference with Pacquiao that that fight with Errol Spence ain't big enough yet. Errol Spence got to do a little more. He got to build his name a little bit more, even though Errol Spence is a bigger name than a Keith Thurman. Errol Spence just fought in front of 47,000 people. Errol Spence been on pay-per-view before Keith Thurman, even though he turned pro later than Keith Thurman. Errol Spence just sold 400 k on pay-per-view, something that Keith Thurman could never do unless he's in the ring with an Errol Spence or maybe a Terrence Crawford, but definitely he has to be an Errol Spence. And he cannot do them type of numbers without Pacquiao. So Keith Thurman still ducking Errol Spence and he still ain't confident about Errol Spence even after he fights a Manny Pacquiao. I doubt he fight Errol Spence next. Like I said, they better put that on the contract that he had to fight Errol Spence after a Manny Pacquiao win. Because if not, he going to claim an injury and he going to retire. But when Keith Thurman first came on the scene, he kept calling out Floyd Money Mayweather, talking about that fight will make him a legend overnight. He wanted to fight Floyd Mayweather because he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. But when it's Terrence Crawford now, who's the best pound for pound fighter in the world, and they offered him a fight and he could have proved that he's the number one fighter in the world. He didn't want no smoke. And he acted like he's this proven guy when Terrence Crawford is more proven than you. He a champion in three different weight divisions and he considered pound for pound number one today. So if you do beat him, you will get that spot. So you really never wanted to fight Floyd Mayweather. You only wanted that paycheck. That's what it tells me. And you could tell Keith Thurman... His hunger is gone. And it makes you question his hunger back then. That don't duck me, son. Don't you duck me, son. It makes you question that because you didn't keep the same energy that you kept with Polly. That you keeping up with Errol Spence and Crawford. That you kept up with Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia, as soon as he moved up to the welterweight division, he said, I'll welcome that man. But when it's Crawford, oh, what he done? He ain't fought this guy. He ain't fought that. Let him fight Amir Khan. Then he fights Amir Khan and destroy Amir Khan. Then, oh, well, you know, he get all political. (laughs) He turned to a business manager instead of becoming a prideful fighter. Now he's a prize fighter. He praised himself for being a prize fighter. Now he's a prize fighter. And like I said before, He just doesn't keep the same energy with Errol Spence and Crawford. And them guys, them two in particular, they made him reassess everything that he got himself into. He changed his energy. He changed his approach to the boxing game just because he heard Errol Spence is in the welterweight division and he heard Crawford's in the welterweight division. And keep in mind, the guy he talk shit about the most that I know he likes the most but obviously uh, he knows people hate Floyd so he gotta talk shit about Floyd but Floyd he always bring up the fact that Floyd fought Pacquiao five years too late when Floyd was the one who offered Pac-Man a fight in 2009 he turned it down because of, of a blood test 
So it's a Pacquiao fault, not a Floyd Mayweather fault. And Keith Thurman been ducking Errol Spence five years now. Errol Spence called him out in 2015. And Keith Thurman keeps saying it's going to happen. And they ain't never even negotiated once. Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao negotiated like three times before they fought each other. He never even negotiated with Errol Spence, not even once, man. And this guy's talking about, I won't fight Errol Spence for one belt. I won't fight him for two belts. I'm only fighting him for three belts. I'm only fighting him if there's a hundred million on the line. That's basically what he's saying. Because he keep bringing up this money thing, these belts. He wants all the belts to be on the line. He wants all the money to be on the line. Because he knows Errol Spence finna snatch his soul in the ring. That's why. So if he feels like that toward Errol Spence, he feels the same way toward a Terrence Crawford as well. And like I said, if he was as good as ducking questions as he is in the ring at ducking punches, he will have a better defense than Floyd Mayweather in the ring. That's all I'm saying. So subscribe below if y'all trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. If y'all like the boxing memes that I use on my videos, follow La Tomb Boxing for the funniest boxing memes on Instagram. And follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel at Aki TV. And peace and we out of here.